Okay. Probably want to go Coin Magnet. Charge Attack. What does Attunement do? Oh. Gain more energy from killing things. Be okay. Let's go Coin Magnet just for the extra cash. Welcome to my camp, folks around me. Here, call me boss. I'll get straight to the point. You're the chosen one. Great evil nearly wiped out humanity ever since Lemkus took over the last of us humans at... Do you hear that? No! They must attract you. I like this cutscene. <laughs> the face! Oh boy. Cutscenes like that go a long way to making games cool. This is an auto scroller? It's an auto scroller! I've never played any of the auto-scroller levels in Mario. It was kind of fun to see. Oh, God. Uh-oh. It was fun to see uh, speedrunners on auto-scroller levels. Well, at least I know where everything kind of is. The other nice part is... Uh, any money I gain remains gained, so I don't have to worry about it too too much. Like, worst comes to worst, this is farming. Okay, maybe not that money. That money is lost forever. But that's fine. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna have to... Ah, damn it. But yeah, this is... This is the second kind of referential thing, because the first was Mega Man Zero, obviously. I wonder... I would love to see a catalog on all the different... references this game makes to other popular games. I don't even know where that coin necessarily came from. Yeah. I'm not gonna goof anymore. Oh! That's the problem, I'm bouncing off of him and ending in the pit again. Blech. Oh, again, this is fairly good money. It's not the best money. But if I want to buy any more upgrades after this, I guess what I should do is reflect bullets at them. Okay. I was right next to that. Alright. Ah, so you decided to come aboard, huh? What are you waiting for, you filthy squabs? Get that tablet! Okay, no more auto scroller. Thank you for the cash. 
didn't quite work. Yeah! I can reflect bullets! Okay, let's avoid that for a second. Let's talk to this guy. A few Resistance members also managed to stow away on the ship. It seems like the captain ordered a lockdown. Should be ways to open the doors in this room. How about you give it a try? I'll stand guard. Assuming we're going to have to go to other parts of the ship first. Okay. Oh, it almost worked. I was trying to I was trying to surprise the dude. It it kind of works. Oh. Let's pick up the little money that could. Cuz I believe in it. Yeah. Yes, to some small degree, it's actually better to just reflect bullets at these guys. Alternatively, it looks like you can swing more or less as fast as you can press the bu press the button. So it might actually just be easier for me to just mash the uh mash the like swing button. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Intruder. This switch here switches things on and off, doors and stuff. Most of the time, try flipping it. Maybe something fun will happen. I'll blame you if we all die, though. That's so satisfying. It's definitely not the most efficient thing, but it's so satisfying to just be like, Brr. well, I guess it's the most efficient thing. That's the only way to, to actually deal with those. But still, I don't know. There's something fun about reflecting bullets. Not a lot of games let you do it, especially not right from the outset. <laughs> Whoops. I deserve that. I was not paying attention. Katana zero time. Whoops. I still deserve that. Anything interesting over here? I'm on the lookout for secrety bits. Uh, did I miss a door somewhere? Whatever. We'll have to be back anyway. That gets spooky. Okay. There's that. I don't think there's anything else behind that. Oh, boy. But more games are doing it now. And it feels super good. First game I really ever experienced that in was... Uh, Nuclear Throne? And there was just something, like, absolutely joyous about reflecting bullets in Nuclear Throne. Like, I would straight up do runs where that was the only thing I did. I didn't win, because you have to do a little bit more than that. Oh, I can't get back. Well, let's hope there's nothing behind that. I might have to loop back around. Okay, I guess let's go this way. Oh, the switch. Oh, the switch. Or does that just open the door on the other side? Probably is. We. 
doesn't seem like the door to the bridge is open yet. Must be another switch. Keep exploring. There's a lot here. So. Oh, the one problem with that is I do not get, uh... Reflections do not net me... Uh, vampire kills. Oh. I wonder if I get the double jump here. Mischief Makers had some fun bullet reflecting, grabbing stuff. I don't think I ever played Mis Mischief Makers. Maybe I should at some point. I don't even remember... I don't think I've ever even seen it. There's a lot to this place. Uh. Oh, we probably have to go up that one thing. Let's see, insanely inscrutable and ja Japanese. What platform was it on? Because yeah, I straight up don't think I've ever heard of it. Looks like we have a router nearby. Which is odd. Also another save location? Oh. Mid-boss? Maybe not. I have no idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do that. Oh boy. Oh, there's an upper area. Yeah. I might be able to make that. I think I need a double jump before I can get up there. Oh! Wait, I think I know of that one. Where the main character looks like a, um... Kind of like a medic droid-ish? It's... The tablet has reached the stern. It's sure to fall to his doom. <laughs> yeah, it was like a very white and red outfit. Whoops. And I did, in fact, fall to my death. Blech. Yeah, I remember seeing that in, uh, at Blockbuster. And being like, huh, this looks neat. And then just never, never trying it. Mainly because, like, my parents would only let me rent the occasional game. And let me tell you, I was a lot more about, um... Renting Battle Tanks. And... Uh, Majora's Mask. And so on and so forth. It's... Oh, do I have to see this cutscene every single time? Ugh. Well, it's White Palace time. But I think we're good. Okay, we are safe. Got the lever. That lever? Wherever that goes. Incentive to not fall again. Truth. Anything there? Nah, it doesn't look like it. We Oh boy. I think this is right. So we don't actually want to go here. No! I wonder if I can get back up. 
like the other way. Let's go down first and see if this this door opens. Well, this sucks. I'm gonna go see if I can get a double jump first. Take a lot of contact damage here. Not the best. Like, I'm pretty sure I get a double jump. I'm pretty sure I need a double jump to get through some of this stuff. So, let's... Ow. Let's just keep going this way. I mean, worst comes to worst, I'm pretty sure we can come back at a later date. Maybe. Maybe not. There we kind of go. It'd be super weird to have a Metroidvania without a double jump. It's possible. I've played a couple of them, but they're super, super freaking rare. It's just so standard to this, uh, this specific genre. Okay, there we go. That gets both of them. No double jump, though. We'll have to go down that pit. And I'm really bad at avoiding that. Nope. Okay, yeah, let's hop down into this pit. See what we get. Probably just a treasure chest with maybe some... Eh, close enough. What oh, are you, you jerks guarding here? Unless this just leads to that other path. If this all wraps together, I'm super fine with that. But there's one room. Oh. That's so mean. Should I get down in there and fight him? Yeah. Sucks a bit. There we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get above these guys. Ow. Poor little mouse bots. Rat bots. But it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, let's just go... Let's go here. Let's save up. A lot of saves. I don't know if I want to go all the way back for that one room. What do you guys think? How much do I hate myself? We were... Yeah, it could be a power-up. Uh, I'm not a fan of points of no return. Or just points of sheer inconvenience. Yeah. I'm just gonna wait for that to go for a second. Hello, yes. Bullet of reflections. Super damn fun. Let's see. That's interesting. They say the same thing every time I go through here. Even though I've cleared... Whoop, even though I've cleared the whole place. Neat. And shitty.
Okay, didn't screw this one. I oh, really wish there was a save point on this side. Let's see, anyway, Wandering... Thoughts on trying Kakarot out? Uh... Probably not. My main beef is... I've heard it's 45 hours long. It looks... Pretty fun. But, like... Uh, it's really hard for me to play games that are 45 hours long. Nowadays. Let's see, do switches stay hit after death? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Bowser, somebody came down here. I'm so happy to see you, pal. I've been stuck here for six months. All my friends think I'm dead. Or that's what I would say if I had friends. Wow. I mean, that was a lot of money, but still. 45 hours to complete it. Fairly shorter just beating it. True. But, like, I would rather play Damon X Machina, to be entirely honest. Uh, at this point, even though I've heard Damon X Machina is considerably less good, the idea of it just coming out on Steam is kind of exciting for me. Um, so we need some kind of power. Whoops. No, this is where we want to go. That is really fun. Just mashing both of those and just zooming straight up. Oh, let's see. It keeps making illusions like there's a router nearby for me to buy upgrades, but I've not seen a single one of them. Looks like you could drop down where the lonely robot was. Yeah, I've been down there. Oh, it even tells me how many chests are left. Cool. Okay. But yeah, I... I don't know. I just... I'm playing a lot of long games. Or I've still got a bunch of long games on my plate that I haven't finished yet. That I really need to go back and finish. Because i still got to finish Disgaea 4, I've still got to do... I was, uh, let's see, I've still got to finish Witcher 3, which is probably going to be one of the longest games I ever do a series on, period. Yeah, I guess I just didn't go this direction. Oh, this is a save point. Oh, you're that intruder thing. I guess I'm supposed to detain you, but I might just set myself to sleep mode for a while. Is this what they call sleeping on the job? And so, it's kind of one of those that, like, if I were to play DBZ Kakarot... Dips. I would... I'm more likely to just play it for a couple hours and be like, cool! And then throw it on the list of other games that I also have to beat. Because I, I truly do not want to pick up anything long between now and March. Because March has, like, a buttload of really good games coming out. Ah, oh, yes. The list. TM. I mean, I don't have, actually, that much to play this specific month. Like, if I wanted to be crazy pants, I probably could actually finish some pretty long games if I wanted to. Um. Yeah, at least the Final Fantasy VII Remake got delayed. Yeah, but there's so many other really good games also coming out in March, so it's kind of spooky. Wait a second. That corridor is just down the hall. Wedge, pigs, prepare a line of defense. Protect your captain. That's another one. That is both a Final Fantasy and a Star Wars reference. Uh, 
I love it. Because, yeah, for whatever reason, every Final Fantasy game has a Biggs and a Wedge. And I have no idea if it's a Final... Uh, I have no idea if it's a Star Wars reference or not. I'm assuming as such. Let's see. Yeah, we got Doom Eternal. I'm looking forward to Doom Eternal. I honestly might play Metro Exodus uh, this month, seeing as it's coming out on Steam. I know a lot of people are just kind of jaded about it, which is fair. But I played all the previous Metro games, so I feel like I probably should. Uh-oh. HP back. And we're done. Okay. Are we? Nope. There we go. There we go. It went in doubt. Mash button. Oh no. Your arrogance is insulting. Do you really think you can defeat me? Get off my ship, you scallywag! Captain Koek. Oh boy, I have to... Oh. <laughs> the boss fight was the auto-scroller. Uh, hopefully I can get back here at some point, because there was one door that I couldn't get to. Koek means cookie in Dutch. Dude means dead and or death in Dutch, from what I know. People will not stop telling me that one. You'd think I'd know by this point, but I don't, apparently. Or people talking about Vampire the Masquerade. I remember playing Bloodlines, I think. I played the first one, which is good but janky. Unfortunately, the whole soundtrack is copyrighted, so I can't can't put it on YouTube. Talk about a crash. It's a miracle we survived. The Resistance has an outpost west of here. Update them on what happened, and they'll tell you what to do next. Useful if you can't pro progress any further. That sort of deal. I'll stay here and see what I can salvage. Talking about redemption. I don't think I played that one. I, I I played the one with the uh the werewolf dance, which was amazing. The freaking werewolf dance. Best ending. Also this music, super freaking good. Uh let's keep Oh, I see, I gotta go down. Krongel von Murderstein. Best protagonist. This is Resistance Base 42, a strategic resistance base, some may say. Others just call us nerds. To be honest, we all really, all we want to do is save the Earth. To friendly neighborhood Earl, managed to get here just in time. Must say, I didn't expect a flying ship to crash here, and an elevator after that. At least this place has Wi-Fi now, but seriously, stop breaking things. Okay, so we got a lot. Of money. Unfortunately, we still need to pick up some other things. So let's grab, at the very least, attunement. And probably solar panel. Slow health regen is super nice. I was expecting more than this. I'm curious how... If this game actually ends up being fairly short. Probably. Welcome to the Desert Resistance Base. Anything here?
That crash was really something, huh? Stuff came raining down nonstop. I even found these amazing boots. Sadly, they're not compatible with my OS. You can have them if you want. Label says they allow you to jump in midair. Double jump. They call me Chief. You can call me. Actually, just call me Chief. Let me check your serial number. TBY1134, huh? Lead speak, that's Tobiah? Kinda? Let's just call you Tabby then. Cute name for a killer like you. Listen, we need to get into the abandoned subnet. Then we'll be able to access the other areas around here more quickly. But that ship you crashed here caused a short circuit. The door won't open unless we restore power. There's a shrine to the east. Rumor has it, something shocking is buried there. Maybe we can use it, use whatever it is to access the abandoned subnet. You know what this game kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Iconoclasts. As Chief told you yet, we had a short circuit because of the crash earlier. Most systems have been restored with the exception of this door. You'll need a powerful electrical surge to open it. Maybe that shrine in the east. Would that be too risky? Alright, I'm not paying attention. I'm just reading chat. And listen to this sweet music. Seriously, every single song I've heard so far has been an absolute banger out of this. Like, I'm always on the lookout for soundtracks to listen to while I'm working on, like, other stuff. Oh. Hello, is this thing on? I can reach you over this telecommunicator now. It's supposed to be some ancient human tech. Earl did some magic to make it work. Hurry to the east and find the shrine. Oh, by the way, now you can call me back through Tabos whenever you want. There we go. Give me the cash. Yeah, between the fast heal and the extra slimy creatures. I think they're just supposed to slow you down a little bit. Yeah, it could be some kind of hint system. I guess I was get, supposed to get up to that one section without a double jump. Oh, well. There we go. I have no idea what achievements I'm getting. If I hang out above them, they pretty much can't handle it. Now let me guess. Okay. Wow, that that heal over time is actually pretty damn good. Aha! Damn it. No. Oh, I can't stand on that. Okay, there we go. Is it a hat? The answer is... It's a... Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a health bit. Bust that up. Just bounce this guy's head. Yeah, it really does seem like the enemies are most susceptible to sword hops more than anything else. Hey, C points. 
I keep wanting to compliment the uh, solar charger, though. We really are staying, like, super high health here, which is so nice. Oh. Okay, there we go. Kinda? Let's see. I wanna see what's on the other side of this, though. I have no idea which one's practice. Or, which one's progress. That didn't work the best. I'm just on a journey, I guess. Oh! Well, that works. Bonk the missile back straight at them, and they can do nothing. Doesn't look like there's anything else there. Well, I guess let's go down. But yeah, missile deflection. Cool shit. There we go. Alright. Seems like this is probably... No go zone? No, I can go here. I don't know if there's any more. Uh, let's see. Oh, I guess these guys are just down here now. Ow. Well, at least it gets me a bunch of HP back. Where am I? I have, I have no idea where I'm going. look like that's anywhere. I'm on a mission to go the wrong direction. Let's see. Smack the missile back at the rock. I know I get the ability to destroy... Uh, wow. Uh, I know I get the ability to destroy rocks at a later date, so it's not like a huge rush for me. Looks like a dead end. If only I had some kind of grappling hook. See ya, Chumsley. Bust the box. Oops. Nope, that ain't working. Get in there. Have fun with that. I'll just be over here. Ow! It's gonna just taunt him on the side. Maybe I should kill time. Let's... This is probably a save point. No, it's not. It's... I'm kind of shocked it isn't a save point. Accessing the bot botanist log from May 2nd, 3046. It seems the plants thrive on this un unusual brown substance from the city. A few more weeks and I shall have the precious oil for my rusty rusty screws. Further experiments will be conducted to see if we can accelerate the process. And it doesn't look like I can go further down. Oh, good opportunity to get a little bit of HP back. Ow. Oh, no, right into the spikes. Oh, how far back does that send me? Probably pretty damn far. Oh, yeah, it's really far. There's a lot to explore around here. 